that's a new sound. What the hell was that? Oh my god! You, you go from wolves to this? What the hell? How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome to the Bonfire Forsaken Lands. Now today we're doing something a little different. This is actually a phone game uh, that has recently come out. Looks absolutely fantastic. I have been playing it for a little while and uh, I think you guys will truly love this one. So yes, a phone game. Something I don't normally do on the channel but I'm going to start doing more of. My major complaint with phone games is some of the best ones are some of the worst in my personal opinion. Uh, you got all the clicker games and all that fun stuff that uh, people seem to really love, but there's a few beautiful indie titles in the phone space uh, that truly deserve more promotion. This is one of them, I think. So we're going to be checking it out today. And the great thing about phone games is pretty much everyone has a phone that they can play on. Uh, so if you don't have a PC and you just watch me for some reason, I appreciate that. But this should be a game for you. So we're going to start out a new run today. And the way this game works, it's kind of like a, a colony management game where we literally start a bonfire and then people come to us. It's uh, kind of hard to explain. There's a light storyline that will explain it better than what I just did. And uh, yeah, it actually reminds me a lot of games like Kingdom. Uh, basically, you recruit people to help you out and obviously expand out as you get more residents in your bonfire area. When the great stars fell, the sea will rise. The sleeping god will awaken. Only the ancient titan can defeat him and send him back to the depths which he came. Find a land and light the bonfire, for it will beckon the lost souls. Seek the wisdom of the ancients, and you shall gain the strength of titans. All right, well, I already found some land, and that is the very light description of this game. Again, it's very vague, uh, but yeah, it's such a cool little game. I've only played it for a few in-game days, but uh, from what I've seen, I think you guys are going to really, really like this one, and I want to see how complex it gets. All right, so here we are at our base. Actions right now, being that we can't do anything besides gather some wood from the trees, we are going to simply do that. So I'm going to gather wood to obviously light our bonfire to let the residents know that we are indeed here and we need help. All right, and now that we have three wood, we have the build option now, and we are going to light our bonfire. This will allow them to see us. The bonfire can be seen from miles away, and hopefully soon, people should be coming. I'm going to focus on getting as much materials as possible this start, and hopefully over this day, someone will come and greet me. And there comes the first one. Oh, actually, we got two. Talk about Lucky. Uh, now, we basically are the leader of this tribe now. A small family arrives looking for shelter. You guys can have shelter if you turn into workers for me. So we got Aspu, who's well-fed, hardworking, and rested. Uh, we got Suan, who's well-fed, strong, and well-rested. Okay, so each worker's gonna have their own unique attributes. When we get more jobs later on in the game, obviously that will help out. Right now, I just want everybody gathering wood. Now, is there anything else we can build yet? So we have options now. We can build farms and workshops. Uh, I think we're obviously going to build the farm first, being that we have people we need to feed. We don't actually have any food right now, so we might go hungry for the first day. We should be totally fine, though, as long as we can get a bunch of wood in the bank. Uh, tomorrow, we should start earning food. All right, and it looks like we're ready for the farm, so I'm going to build that. And now we have a craft option, so I'm assuming I can craft a torch. Torches, I believe, are for the guards, so I don't want a guard just yet. We should be okay. I'm going to focus on working throughout the night. I do not have to sleep, I don't think. Uh, so these guys go to sleep at night, but I stay out and, being that I am the leader, work the hardest. Uh, the hell was that noise? Uh-oh, is there something coming? I don't see anything, but we got tribal drums and everything. Okay, we, we, we got problems. All right, so I'm going to attack this thing. We do not have any guards just yet. Uh, so, yeah, we got some sort of dog invading us already day one. Great. Well, then an attacking beast was killed in a bloody fight. Bloody indeed. I am a little damaged. Hopefully we uh, can heal over time. We at least got the skin the beast, and that gave us some food as well as... Oh, actually, we didn't get the skin. I thought we were supposed to get the skin. Maybe I'm wrong with that. All right, but at least we got some food in the bank now. Uh, we should be good for tomorrow, which is quickly coming. You can see the moon going down now. So I'm going to get back to gathering wood because hopefully we can build that workshop today. Actually, that's going to take food as well. So maybe I should grab some more food because uh, we're going to put a lot of that into the workshop. 
All right, good morning, my ladies. At least I think you're ladies. I don't know, you're wearing skirts. I don't want to be judgmental or anything, but you definitely... I don't know, maybe, maybe they are guys, because they kind of look like they got goatees or something as well. Uh, can't zoom in, so we're, I, I guess we'll never know. But yes, we're back. Uh, today is going to be the big day where we build our first major upgrade, at least I think so, the workshop. Hopefully with that, we can get into some, some more interesting stuff. So yes, we do have weather conditions we have to worry about, and now this is going to be a slow gathering day just because we uh, are not going to be moving too quick at all. Oh, hello? Who are you? He comes bearing a cart. Is he a traitor or something? Or are you going to give me that cart and join the tribe? I hope that's the case. Look at the wind. You can actually see the trees going. A thin man arrives pushing an empty cart. Uh, okay, let's talk to the stranger here. Once I get this wood, of course. Oh, man, it's getting real bad out. <laughs> We're hardly moving now. The stranger says he has not eaten in, in days. Says his family is lost. Um, okay, so we can either ignore him or give him five food. You know what? Being that we got a small tribe right now, I don't know if this guy is screwing me over or not. I'm gonna give him the food. Hopefully that saves his family and they come to join us uh, due to our good deeds. So I guess I'll go back to working in the farm as these guys collect wood. We need five more wood and then I, we should get the workshop today, even with this slow movement. All right, we got another wanderer as well, Magoo. Good old Magoo. I uh, am going to need a guard soon, but I think I should be able to defend ourselves for the next couple of days. It's probably going to get progressively harder, but we're going to focus on them collecting wood. We're going to need lots of wood for the start. Uh, can we build this thing yet? No, we're very close, though, but that's going to be tomorrow, unless I can do this throughout the night. All right, thank God the storm has passed, and I can move quick again, so... Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to build this right away, basically. I'm just going to gather one wood real quick, as long as we don't get attacked. Okay. The moment I say we don't get attacked, we're getting attacked. All right, I'm not going to walk over the, all the way over to the forest, because I don't know if they can go in our house or whatnot. And I do not want to risk losing my whole tribe right now. So get out. Attack! Attack him! All right, looks like it's only one dog again. I did not heal, though, I don't think. So we skinned him. And... This time we did get a skin, so yeah, during my test run, I was able to get skins. Don't know what the skins are for, I'm assuming clothing later on. Uh, but I don't know if I heal myself. I hope I do. It looked like I was still a little low, though. Alright, we got everything we need to build the workshop, so I'm going to build that before daytime comes. Uh, looks like it's gonna be built over here. I wish you could choose where to build things, but no, there's like predetermined places. Uh, so the workshop assembles, in, sorry, enables crafting items. So if we go to craft, we can make wooden spears now, carts, and I just noticed there was a, where was that? Okay, so we have to build the wooden bridge now. That's gonna take a lot of wood, so we're gonna keep these guys focused on the wood. I'll focus on the food, uh, but also we're probably gonna want a guard today, so I'm probably gonna build a spear. Uh, that way we can weaponize ourselves a little bit. All right, let's focus on working at the farm for right now, though. Worker, are you strong? You're well-fed, quick-footed, and well-rested. So you are perfect uh, for going into the wood gathering because you're quick-footed. But if we go to the wood gatherers, I know there's Suan Strong. So I'm going to put them... Uh, we're going to change job. We're going to turn them into... Oh, the guard requires a torch? Okay, so let's craft that torch then. Change job. You're going to guard now. Uh, so now that we should have a guard throughout the nighttime, so I don't have to fight everything. Because I'd rather Suon die than me. No offense to Suon or anything. Uh, we're also going to, in your right hand, give you the wooden spear. So you are now weaponized. I don't know where they are. They just kind of hang... They, they must sleep during the day when these guys work, I'm thinking, and then defend at night. So they're night defenders. All right, let's get back to working, though. I got enough food for the day. We got 41 wood, not bad. Hopefully tomorrow, being that now that we have that quick-footed person, we should be able to build that bridge so we can expand out our territory. I'm also going to craft this cart. Cost 10. Not really sure what it's for. I'm assuming ought to move multiple things at once. Uh, so I, we'll just have that cart. Where is it? It's dark yet, so I don't actually see it. We built it. Do I have to maybe put it on somebody? Let's go to our workers real quick just to see what we can do. Mugu! Okay, so we have armor, we have carry item, and left and right hand. So there's no way to, like, can we put a cart in there? I'm not, I, I can't even, when I click it, nothing actually happens. So I'm not sure how the carts work. We'll obviously figure that out later on, though. And here comes the enemies. I'm going to continue working at the farm. You can do your job, buddy. If you need help, I can still attack, I think. 
Oh, we, we got two. Okay, this time we got two, so I do want to help out a little bit. Now, I don't think I can weaponize myself, which is very weird. There's no way to actually click myself and go to my slots. So I'm thinking we're more like a mayor than anything else. These guys are supposed to do our dirty work for us. And yeah, no idea where that cart is, by the way. Uh, it's Is that the cart here? This, like, bone-looking thing? Or is that the carcass of that dog? I have no idea. Anyways, it's gonna be another slow day. I was hoping to get that bridge built today, but as you can see, uh, we're going slow once again. So you know what? Being that we don't have much to manage right now, I'm gonna move this worker from a guard back to uh, wood gathering until nighttime, because we do not get attacked during the day, at least yet. Hopefully we don't. And I want to get as much done as quickly as possible. Exhausted villagers went to bed. Okay, so... Oh, I'm assuming I can make them exhausted. So that guy, if you remember, he was woodworking yesterday, and then I put him as a guard overnight, and that must have exhausted him. So I guess that's the way to keep them only doing one job. Uh, you, they actually do need to sleep. So we'll let him stay as a guard. We need a guard at nighttime now for sure. Uh, and I guess we won't switch him to a gatherer during daytime, or he will be exhausted, uh, during his guard phase. So, look at that! We already got 112. Let's build that bridge, and, uh, let's see what's over on the other side. I want to see. Well, that was quick. Jesus. Bridge opens up a new area for development. So now, what can we build? So yeah, we have the iron mine and a hut by the woods. And as you can see, uh, we have this new area now. A hut by the woods, so I'm wondering if that would be faster for maybe, uh, getting wood? Doesn't really explain much in this game. I kind of like that about it. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea what the hut by the woods does. Obviously, an iron mine will allow us to weaponize better, I'm thinking. So, I'm kind of wanting to go for the hut by the woods just to see what it is. Let's, um, obviously get some more food, as these guys are getting lots of wood today, and I'm gonna need some food before nighttime. Oh, hello! You're wearing a green suit. You look like an elf. You're a little bit different than the rest. A wanderer stands by the bonfire. Okay, so we're actually getting so filled that we might actually need to fight. Can we fire people? Because if we get somebody who's really good in terms of stats, I wonder if we can get rid of someone who's not good. All right, this guy's strong, though, well-rested, so we're going to put him as, once again, a wood gatherer. We don't really need farmers just yet. All right, screw it. We're going to build the hut by the woods just because I'm curious what the hell it does. Oh, I thought it was by these woods. What the hell are we going to do over here? There's woods over here? Is that about the one tree? The one tree is the hut by the woods. More workers can live in the village now. Okay. I should have thought of that. So that's how you expand out your population. Definitely didn't need that right now, but we're, we're prepared. Now we just need a crap load of wood, but I still need to get food for tonight, so we're going to focus on working on the farm. Definitely, I think the next person that comes to our village, though... Uh, we'll have to make an actual farmer now because uh, I can't feed a a everybody anymore. It's just too much commitment. And would you look at that? We have our farmer coming today. All right, so it's going to be nice so I don't have to click as much as I am right now. A wanderer stands by the bonfire. Welcome, wanderer. He's a little hungry. He's wise and well-rested. You're going to be our first farmer. Feel free to start farming so I don't need to as much. Thank you. And, uh, I gotta start thinking about maybe a second guard as well. If they're not going to heal, we're gonna run into issues real quick. Whoa, that's a new sound. What the hell was that? Oh my god! You, you go from wolves to this? What the hell? Oh my god, my dude! Okay, this might be what we're not prepared for. Uh, okay, you know what? Workers... Workers, we need more guards. Oh, I actually can't make any more. Oh, God. I got to keep attacking. I got to keep... This is bad. This is... What the frig? How am I supposed to prepare for this? I'm having a nice little peaceful experience. And I died. Wow. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I didn't go in hardcore. Because I was not prepared for that. We're going to reload day. And, uh... Jesus Christ. <laughs> The difference between that and a dog is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm wondering, I wish it told me which day it is. I'm wondering if it's like every 10 days there's like a boss or something. Regardless, we're going to have to make some more torches and spears. Uh, because now we're going to actually need a lot of guards. So I'm going to actually make two. Should three be enough with me fighting as well? I don't know. I feel like I actually need four. 
Let's let us let us let's go a little bit more crazy here. Yeah, let's slow down on the progression, obviously, because we need guards. So I'm gonna get these guys to uh, get a bit more wood, and then we'll turn a lot of these guys into guards. All right, here it comes. The beast is coming back. This time, I'm hoping we can survive this. I'm gonna help them out. Here we go, guys. Come on. This is crazy for like the start of the game. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna make it this fun this time. We might actually lose a guy here. Whoa! Jumping attacks! Okay, this this guy's got strats, man. Some villagers were killed. We actually did still lose one. Let's skin that beast. Jesus. Ah, uh, I feel like I should keep guards now for like even during the daytime. I don't know if I should trust this game anymore. That went absolutely crazy really quickly. Some gems were found in the iron mine. Okay, so that's where the gems come from. I'm assuming I'm taking them back now because we still only have one. Uh, but yeah, that's where it came from. I was wondering if it was the boss. Now tonight, I'm taking a risk. Oh, it's different from the crystals. So we have crystals and gems. Um, so yeah, we can find gems as well. So we have all these different resources we have to manage. Uh, I'm gonna take a risk tonight. We have two guards out. I'm not gonna re-recruit another one. I don't think it's gonna be another hard fight. I feel like that was a boss fight for sure. And that probably happens every 10 days or so, I feel like. Okay, and yeah, that's the sound of the dogs. So I'm pretty sure I'm just trying to watch. Yeah, we just got dogs once again. I'm gonna help them out because it is three. I do not wanna risk these guys dying. That was a really good hit there. I don't know how we got, did so much damage really quickly, but there we go. No big deal. Is there, like, any sort of cue that tells you, uh, when that beast is gonna come? Like, for example, with Kingdom, you have the Blood Red Moon. So I'll have to pay attention and see if there's anything weird during the days that, that those foul beasts come. Alright, so let's go build that hut by the woods. Taking all my stuff, all that work. And, uh, we've already built this once, but yeah, we're definitely gonna need this anyways, because, uh, we're already at 9 out of 10 workers. So I'm hoping once this is on the ground, they'll just consider that their home. And then we'll be able to get a lot more iron really, really quickly. But no, it's looking... Well, it's not, it doesn't look like this place, so I don't know if they'll actually stay there or not. More workers can live in the village now. Yay! All right, let's see if she walks by it. Oh, it does work! Oh, thank God! All right, that's going to make iron collecting way easier. I thought I was going to have to bring all my woodworkers over to iron mining. But no, they can store it in any of these homes, which is actually really cool. Uh, so we should get a lot of iron today then, which is great. Uh, and like I said, next person that comes is going to be a guard. Let's actually focus on um, crafting some more torches and whatnot. We actually... Oh yeah, he gave me his wooden spear. So when people die, we keep their units because uh, we have a torch and a wooden spear that I didn't make. So we're going to make one more of those just to have some in the bank. Uh, we still have these carts. I have no idea what the carts do. Okay, and it looks like we made it! We can build the fort, so I want to build that as quickly as possible. Uh, because I want to see if we can make armor. If we can make armor, our guards are going to be much safer. We've already lost a couple of them, uh, so we definitely do not want to lose any more of them. Alright, so it looks like we're going to build the forge by the iron mine. Makes sense. And, man, I love how quickly these guys are at, are at building. All right, so now we got... Ooh! Wow, this is way more complex than I expected. We got iron axes, pickaxes, bow and arrow, and sickle. So, I'm assuming sickle will be for farming. Maybe we'll get more. I definitely want to get the bow and arrows. I was hoping for armor, though. I gotta be honest. But I think we have job-specific tools in this game, which is cool. We can get iron axes, obviously, for woodcutters. Uh, pickaxes for... Miners definitely want to get some bow and arrows done, so we need skins for that. Let's actually get these guys some bow and arrows real quick here. Unfortunately, we only get one. All right, let's go to the workers real quick. Guard. Zine, you are going to be the lucky individual who gets... Where the hell is it? Oh, do we need to have... Okay, unequip. Wait, where the hell does the bow and arrow go? I'm assuming we need to have um, two hands to use the bow and arrow. Makes sense. Thing is, guards need to have a torch. So, I'm not sure. Oh, man, the one thing I choose I can't actually use? There's got to be a way for me to equip stuff. I don't know how to do that, though. <laughs> All right, so obviously now we're going to have to focus on weaponizing everybody. Uh, we're going to need iron axes, pickaxes. It looks like mostly we're going to need wood, so we're going to keep our, our strategy the same of having mostly woodcutters. Um, 
sickle. I could really use a sickle, but also we can build that pasture. Uh, that's going to be our next job, but that's not going to be easy to get to. That's a lot of wood, so I'd rather weaponize everybody first. I feel like that's a smarter idea. So that's what we're going to focus on now. All right, so let's get the iron axe. I want to see what these things actually do. Trees can be chopped using the axe. You don't say! That really didn't explain much. Does it give us two? That's what I'm thinking. So let's get the hard worker with an iron axe. And there they go. So we'll see what they give. Some gems were found. Great. Thanks for that. Uh, she's holding one. Is it faster? Plus two? No, it is plus one. What the hell? I must just lower the time it takes to collect wood. Yeah, she's she's going real fast. Okay, so there is a collection speed. It's more noticeable when you're in the iron mine. You can see there's a little bar there. It doesn't take long for wood at all. So I think we should focus on the on equipping the iron miners first because the iron mines bar is way slower. But yeah, I think it just lowers the speed of that bar. I thought they would get two wood. Unfortunately, that is not the case. So I wonder what carry item does. Oh, there's the freaking carts. Okay, so are you gonna take multiples now? I'm assuming. Hold on, let me see what's what goes on with these things. That's what the cards are for. Oh my god, the amount of complexity in this game is honestly impressive. So I just want to see what the hell she does, so I know how these work. But I'm assuming it just allows her to mine for longer. Yeah, she's chilling in there, man. She's gonna chill in there all day. It's nighttime, man. Get out of there. Okay, there, 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 there she comes. What the hell? Five iron, so it ups it to five, which is huge. Okay, so now I have a lot of things I have to focus on. I don't know what's better. I don't know what the hell the scout did during the day, by the way. I have no idea. All right, let's get this guy. Uh, we still need lots of wood, so let's turn the wanderer into a wood gatherer. Actions. Oh, <gasps> we can explore a freaking dungeon. Okay, so that's what scouts are for. They actually find things we can go to. Well, we don't have warriors net yet. We need, uh, I think it said we need, um, a shield for that? I don't even know how to make a shield yet, so I have no idea how to get that. We also have the option to clear the western path. Now, does that mean we get attacked from both sides, though? I'm a little scared to do that. I don't know when that popped up, but it's an option. What is that noise? Oh, that's a bigger dog. That's a bigger dog. I'll, I will help. I will support. Oh, my God. They're turning into freaking human dogs. Some villagers were killed. Of course they were. Damn it. Okay, we really need to get armor. I was hoping the forge would give us armor. Clearly, that's not the case. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm I'm too curious. I'm going to clear the western path. Worst case, uh, we die, allowing access to the river. Okay, what does the river do? Allow us to fish? Shipyard, hut by the river, coal mine. Holy crap, there's a lot to this game. All right, guys, I think we've done enough for one episode. Obviously, we have a good baseline for this game. I'm learning a lot, but I'm actually honestly blown away by how much you can do in this game. I thought it'd be quite simple. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these phone games. I always like finding these really unique games that uh, are really, really cool, and this is obviously one of them. If you guys like this, we'll definitely look for some more phone-based games, and uh, maybe we'll have a whole series checking out them. Uh, but yeah, I plan on playing more of this. It's really, really fun. I want to see how complex it gets. I'm curious, like, what the um, shipyard will do. Can we actually go to different lands? Can we, you know, maybe fish? I have no idea. But I'm enjoying myself. I hope you guys are as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.